And we're back, everyone, to our Vampire the Masquerade, let's, I mean, Redemption Let's Play video series. And now then, this should be the final episode. Let's see what she has Come to say. Come with me quickly, I can help you. Why should I enter thy trap, servant of the fiend? Please, for Aneska. She says that if you would have hope, even when your cause is lost, you should follow me. I go, but I go with my sword at thy back. Go now, there is little time. Destroy him, and topple this vile cathedral. Now, my dark love, I give you thanks for allowing me to serve you all these years, watching over your sweetly cruel visage in Torpor. My defilement is complete. Wow. Ain't that sweet. Let us continue then. But this here is the last episode. I could have used that, but oh no, I'm just not gonna pay attention to it. There's a pearl of blood right there. But does that concern any of us? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. That's all that trash, but ah, well, that's not my concern at the moment. My concern at the moment is ending this. I think I see him over there. So let us continue back to him. And one more clarity. You survived my hosts. Impressive, young Pussy. You have earned something few have seen. Your final vision shall be that of my true form. Watch as I reveal the absolute power of the Vibon! And... Well, that's... This ain't gonna be fun. No! Okay. Zulu? That's what he's gonna name himself? Ow. Now that the fiend is no more, my unnatural power dissolves. I fear for my soul after my defilement, after all that I have done. But I rejoice that my last sight shall be thee. I only pray that one day I may attain thy forgiveness. I grant all forgiveness. Though thou art blameless and pure in mine eyes. Then death finds me in joy and rapture. Aneska, 
my accursed soul trembles to utter these selfish, blasphemous words. But thou need not die if thou wouldst endure. Thou wouldst still have me, Kristoff? I scarcely dared hope. Thy love has redeemed me across a thousand years. I would that I could offer salvation in return. But I have none to give, only damnation. Damnation with thee would be sweet as salvation. Let thy love cast me down and raise me up forever. Take me, my love. And that's in Vampire the Masquerade. And judging from the end, I would suggest that Kristoff embraces her. Now, not in a, well, yeah, embraces her, because if he just drained her, that would be, well, frickin' anticlimactic. Well, well. So basically, it's over. Thanks to Nihilistic Software, and to my friends and fans who support me. And, as I said, Guild Wars should be the next Let's Play, but I ain't gonna resume it yet. I think I'll do Bloodlines next. And after Bloodlines, I should return to Guild Wars. I know that I probably have fans who are watching the Guild Wars things, expecting me to return to it from what I said in the special Guild Wars episode part 31. But I apologize. Because. I believe it's bad for me to just get bloodlines out of the way. Then I can focus fully on Guild Wars because Guild Wars is going to be quite a big project. Quite a big project. I mean, even just finishing prophecies is going to be quite a few episodes. Then there's also factions and Nightfall if I do them and. And also, I have the North to do, so yeah. But ah well, we've made decent progress, I believe. Eh, well, let's see, we could skip all these people, but we'll just let the credits roll. Because they're the people who made this game. They should have their necessary credits at the end of such. So we shall let it roll, or I talk about nonsense. Ah yes, White Wolf. They had decent pro. I think they published it. Didn't actually develop it, but yeah. Also, Activision. They were a publishing company for it. But yeah, basically. Comparing Redemption to Bloodlines, Redemption is basically more of the pen and paper style format to Vampire the Masquerade. Though I heard a while back that they gave up on the Vampire the Masquerade concept and went with Vampire the Reclam or such. Which is in my opinion completely screwed with the whole concept of the frickin' series. I mean, they it just really doesn't seem right. But ah well. Eh. And this game was quite decent. Except for at the end where it got bloody annoying, really repetitive. I mean, seriously. We go through one level, filled with Nosferatu. Then we go to another level, filled with Nosferatu. Then another level, also filled with Nosferatu. Before we finally get to a decent level with a boss. After it's dead, yay! Then we go onward to another place filled with Giovanni. Then more and more. Deeper and deeper repetitiveness. Out of the Cathedral of Flesh was. Quite fun, considering 
enemies that just basically spam the same attack, but... Ah, well. I use the same attacks over and over and over again, so yeah. I guess it's just the other thing for such. Oh, this is gonna take quite a while, isn't it? <sighs> so we'll just wait for it to go through. Hopefully we're ending the bottom of this with the questions answer spatial thanks. Hopefully anyway. Don't have to split the ending video into two parts of just me talking through credits. But I will. Oh, come on. I guess it isn't over yet. So, I will. We don't even get too much of an interesting ending, just basically credits roll down sc up screen. And music plays in the background, but yeah, that's basically it. we're getting towards the end of this. Oh yeah, it's one net. They were quite decent for online support back in the day. Except that was probably back in the day if they had the direct connections to servers and such. Where you had to use your IP and such. And that support usually is fail nowadays. But there's quite a few newish games which use that still. Which is quite stupid of them because, well... When there's games that can just host the server from who knows where and server hosting companies and such. It really makes the Siri host your own server with your own IP rather stupid. I mean... There was basically Battle.net, which hosts most of all of Blizzard's things. And Guild Wars is hosted by ArenaNet, and all that. And I think we're almost fairly... Almost to the end here. No slant uh, will harm to the making of this game. Okay, well maybe one or two. Ha. <laughs> That's nice to know. Okay, we're almost to the end. Almost. Uh, oh, come on, you're almost in the end. But oh well. Let them have their part there. And thus ends Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. I hope you all enjoyed this game, and I hope you all enjoy Bloodlines too. But yeah, thank you all for your support and continued watching of my videos, and have a nice day.